Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about the feature character recommendation because uh, there's a lot of good character that's coming and then I think it's, it is good to talk about it so you can we can start saving and prepare for their banner okay a couple of things I want to mention today is the my recommendation it's more towards free to play okay for free to play players so let's assume the all the character that's at p0 because there's a lot of character that's coming there's a huge difference between p0 and p5 so when i talk about say oh this character is kind of weak i i won't recommend it it doesn't mean i'm talking about their full potential i'm just talking about when they are at p0 so uh, if you have some confusion there yeah just because it's, uh, I'm talking about strictly P0. One more thing before we start, and that's uh, when I talk about the characters, I'll go very briefly because I don't want to make it into like a 30 minute video, you know, because soon we'll make a character video for each character. So right now I'm just going to talk very briefly and I'll give a recommendation out of 10 and then you can judge from there. And without further ado, let's move on to the first character. As you can see, Jessica is coming within a couple of days, okay? So we'll be starting with Jessica. A couple of things about Jessica is um, she's a plant type hyper carry, so she can do really good damage. And one good thing about her is she don't need many portrait because her portrait is kind of meh, you know? So that's perfect for free to play player, right? So she's very good at P0 already and she can provide very powerful AOE DPS. Of course she have a skill that's like very strong single target damage too, but her focus more on AOE. And one good thing about her is she's very simple to use, like straightforward, and she will remain very strong. Maybe not so much in raid settings, but other than that, everywhere else, she's like really good for everyday use. Especially if you need a plant type DPS, she's right there. So, for me, she's a very recommended, okay, 8 out of 10. So the next coming after Jessica is Shemain. And Shemain is a beast type universal debuffer. So that means his debuff works for both reality damage or mental damage. One thing about Shemain is he needs a lot of portrait in order for him to shine. At P0, he's just very average. And once you reach like his P2, he start to be a pretty decent character. And then at P5, he's like a god. Okay, one of the top three strongest unit at P5. Okay, so as you can see, so since we are talking about free to play, he's not really that good at P0. And most people probably will say that arguably BK is stronger at P0. So yes, so for my recommendation for the Shemin is meh, five out of 10, okay. So let's move on to the next character, it's Black Dwarf, coming after Shemaine. And she, Black Dwarf is a mineral type hyper carry, so she's a very strong mineral type DPS. And one good thing about Black Dwarf is she doesn't need any portrait to do really well. And she has a very strong single target and AoE damage. And people will say, oh, if you have eternity, you don't need her. But that's not true either because she's really strong. She has a lot of penetration. She has self-heal. So yes, so she's really good. So for my recommendation, that's 8 out of 10. Okay, let's move on to the next character. The next character is 37. And she will be coming patch 1.4. And one good thing about her is She's, uh, she can do both mental and genesis damage as a DPS. And she's the first character that have a genesis damage that can quit. So, which make her very unique. But same problem with Shemin, she needs many portraits to shine. At P0, she's almost like a mech character as well. But starting at P2 or P3, she sustain herself as a DPS. And then at P5, she's the strongest unit in the game. There's a sea serpent raid that's coming and a lot of people use her at P0 in that raid. So she has some good use, but if you want to compare her for everyday use like Jessica or Black Dwarf, I would say she's not as good for sure. Okay, no question asked. 
And so for my recommendation for her, just okay, like 6 out of 10. Although she's really powerful at P5 or P2 plus. So if you want to get 37, I would recommend it at least pull her P2. Okay, let's move on to the next character, which is 6. And 6 is intellect type hyper support and then the reason i call it hyper support okay because he can do so much i mean so much he can provide so many buffs to your team he can provide so much debuff to your opponents and he can cleanse debuff from your team he can nuke and he can plus cards and yeah there's so much thing he can do so he's really good okay and then one good thing about him is he don't need any portray to do well. Of course, if you have P2 or P5, his power increased too, but he's fine as a support at P0. Like, really good. <laughs> and then another thing is he's very AP Jenner, so that means like he don't even need to use his card to provide very useful buff and debuff to your team. So you can just chill there and he, he's already doing a lot. There's so many things I can say about this character, but I will save it for when I make his fade deal. Okay, so right now I'm just going to rate it. It's a yes, 10 out of 10. Okay, this is probably besides Tooth Fairy, this is probably the second character that's like almost a must. Okay, so if you really like a good support, 6 is the one to go. Okay, move on to version 1.5. You have Spathodia, and she's a. Uh, Beast type DPS. Okay, so if you are lacking beast type DPS, like she's the one to go. And she kinda needs many portrait to shine, but she's fine at P0, you know, so it's just better with P2 or P3 plus. And she's the first character that introduced the burn status, which reduced healing and then also each turn have take damage, just like poison, but the difference is instead of the damage depends on your character's attack it's based off your opponent's attack okay and also she have an ability to generate cards yeah she's pretty good so my recommendation is 7 out of 10 she's really good dps but just uh not as free to play friendly a little bit so okay let's move on to the last character isra uh, she's a star type shielder slash buffer. Uh, I hope I don't disappoint you here, but apparently right now she's the weakest new release character. And then because she has a clunky kit, the best thing about her is like her sh ability to shield people, but it's a one turn shielder just like Tenet. And then besides that, everything else is like kind of difficult and clunky to use, like the mushroom system. So she's pretty easily replaceable. Like people don't want to put that much effort. You know? That's just sad. Like a lot of people like her. So I just feel sad the kid is not matching the <laughs> like with the character. And pe some people will say like, oh, she can provide Eureka to the Eureka team, like six and thirty-seven. But even in Eureka team, like don't really need him either so like i said earlier it's like easily replaceable like you better off just use somebody else so the rating for the isra is yeah it's a two out of ten for me like i give her of course i give him some credits because like it's very interesting to see new kit to go with it so it's fun to try for sure but like yeah it's not very useful i wouldn't recommend it my recommendation is a big no no okay and with that, it brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and found my video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would be really appreciated. And tonight is Christmas Eve, and I hope everyone have a Merry Christmas with your family or friends or even by yourself. It is okay too, just as long as you have a good time. I hope you have a good night and I will see you in the next video. Bye.